Hi everyone, um, just spending some time out uh, in nature and well overdue and really felt like the last uh, few days that this was very much needed. Needed some grounding, um, just to unplug from everything and um, it's been beautiful out. The sun's been out for the last few days on the coast and um, just been thinking about lots of stuff um you know i look at many channels on youtube and i i see how many views are on there and you know some stories it's like wow why are there only this many views on this and then you look at what's um trending and all this stuff which is um people just doing mindless things and they have millions billions of views and it's kind of sad because you start thinking about um you know cps and the corruption that's going on around the world and for some reason people are so distracted in just silly things that are temporal that don't last that don't matter it really is the relationships. It really is um, speaking out when things are unjust and also focusing on what we need to do to heal ourselves. And that kind of brings up a point is um, I don't often read comments and stuff, but I've had some that have been left and, you know, people telling me what I should do, what I need to be doing and all this stuff. And um, it just gets you to a point where you have to really look inside and think, what is serving me? What's, what's going to help me so that I, in the long run, am helping others? And I know for myself, and when I went through the Masters of Counseling program and did my internship and everything else at the prison, that I am not going to be helpful to anyone unless I put my own resuscitation mask on. If I have areas in my life in which I feel broken and um, that I have not worked through unresolved issues. If there are triggers, which we're gonna have triggers all the time, there's gonna be other people or things that happen around us that trigger something within us that we have to kind of look at and, and figure out maybe what other areas that we weren't aware of before that we need to focus on a little bit. But if we don't do that, then in the end, it really nothing is going to matter what we do we can't be effective if we have areas in our lives that um, are still very much damaged and I'm not saying that in the midst of our journeys we can't be helpful or anything like that I'm just saying that to reach our full potentials to do the things that we are meant to do you know our life purpose and that is where I am right now. I have been guided and directed to focus on my health, to um, do everything that I can to get to a place where I am restoring my body, my mind, and um, my emotions and my soul. Because when trauma happens, it disconnects us from everything. And it's, it's difficult sometimes um, to tell the story, to put words to what is going on. And also when you're in the midst of a, a war, because there is a spiritual war going on, not only in the flesh, <laughs> because it's in the flesh that we see it, but where we can't see. And we have to prepare ourselves and be warriors in this. We have to be doing everything that we can to power up at this moment in time. And I kind of lost my train of thought of where I was going with that. But, um, you know, there's just so much that I want to be doing um, 
to help my offspring and to help others. But this is a big, big um, system in place. And there's been many people who have spoken out about it. There is so much evidence out there. This is not a conspiracy theory. It's conspiracy, I guess, truth is how you would define it. There's facts. There's evidence. There's documents of, of you know, when people are exposing things. It's not just pulling things out of thin air. But this is a big system. And you're not just going to go in and say, I want this. And they're going to say, oh, oh, no problem. No. It, okay. You know, and I'm not saying that sometimes that doesn't happen because, um, sometimes people who are behind the desk get a little bit nervous and decide to let that one go. Um, but you really have to know your stuff and you have to be prepared because you're tested along the way. And there's, no one who can tell you when it's time or what you should be saying and how you should be going about it. Um, true healers and helpers help one another in um, getting on that path that leads to freedom for everyone. And I just wanted to kind of put that out there. Um, yes, I want to be able to help people as I go through my journey, but my journey is right now focused on healing a lot of areas in my life. Um, every situation is complex and it has multi-layer because you know when you're in this fight that you are trying to protect your offspring from the system. That's what it becomes about. Even families who are involved, friends and stuff like that, not all, but many um, who are aware and have had some type of run-ins with the system know that everyone is coming together to protect the offspring from the system. Now there are sometimes people who use the system to retaliate. We have family members um, or a family member um, who first started this out and then from there there's been other attacks and that I've let go of. That's on them. I'm going to allow karma and um, reaping of sowing to take place. And if there's ever steps in the future, which I have some things that um, have been opening up to me that I will, um, I will focus on and use because I think it's important in some areas that I haven't touched on before. So um, everything that I want to do is to serve what I'm doing in this life and fulfilling my purpose. And I'm going to take the path that I take. And um, I think that everyone has their path and I support them in taking that path. And I hope that we touch paths and can help one another out because we are all connected. But I just wanted to say, you know, all through my life I've disappointed people and that's not going to stop now. I'm going to dis disappoint one person after the other, but I'm not going to disappoint myself anymore. I'm going to do what I can to be truly who I came here to be. And that's all that matters. What other people think of me, what other people think of you, is none of our business. And that's that's a great saying and also when you point a finger at someone else three more are pointing straight back at you that helps us to really take inventory of ourself let go of other people's baggage and to just move forward and be able to continue on the path to healing and restoration so I just wanted to put that out there um, you're not alone I know that um, sometimes it's hard. I feel alone at times and I have to ground and get myself to a place where I just am grateful and appreciative for what I have. And I have to step back and I just have to say I'm sorry. I'm letting these things boil up and I need to step back and let go and just say thank you. Thank you for what I have. And I still have tears. I still get angry and all of those things and that's okay. I just am not going to allow those emotions or even thoughts of doubt or I can't do this or nothing's ever going to change. I can't allow those thoughts to control me 
anymore. There's no reason to be thinking that way and, and allowing emotions to keep me bound. I can experience what I'm experiencing and use that to move forward. And, you know, everything that happens is for a reason. So we have these life experiences and I just keep saying I just want to get it right and I want to move forward. And if I touch someone else's life with my story, then that's awesome. And I hope that you guys will put a like on people's videos you don't have to put a like on mine or anything like that but if you view other people's videos and you see that they're helping you with something put a like on it and share so that other people's stories get out and then you can also do the same if you feel led um, it may not be what you want to do there's other avenues to go down but you know this trending stuff and everything else and just putting our focus on you know games and um, different types of entertainment out there. We lose so much time and connection with other people when we just go through the motions of life. So I would challenge everyone to look at the eternal things because we are infinite souls having human experiences and it is those things that will last on forever that matter. Um, lastly, I want to say that there was, you know, the, the famous question, or I can't remember what they used to call it in counseling, but it comes up, if you had 24 hours, um, what would you do in that 24 hours? And I tell everyone right now what I would do. I would go get all of my offspring, and I would go enjoy what time I had with them going out in nature doing just what I love to do I um, would find the sun find the warmth and we would just play and have fun together that's what moves me that's what gives me joy and energy being outside having time with my offspring loving them and I keep saying offspring today because um, the word children has been basically hijacked and so I just want to at times use the word offspring instead but in reality children are our children and the everyday use shouldn't be changed by legalese and all of that kind of stuff but we do need to be aware that that has happened the English language um, is deceptive and um, so that's why I wanted to make sure today that I just pointed that out to people. And you can just do more research on that for yourself. You know, that um, the system has claimed our offspring. And um, there's things that we are able to do in order to correct the things that we did when we were ill-informed when we um, were ignorant to what was going on and to make those corrections. Um, and it's, it's time to stand. And we have to stand on our square and we have to do what we have to do in the way that we need to do it because we will be led. We, we can't let other people tell us what we need to be doing. Everyone can help others by helping themselves. So. Anyways, I don't want to make this too long. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a blessed day. All right? Shalom. Namaste.